Right, so so far for Bex practices, we've had we've installed ESLint to manage our linting for our app itself. We also have had Husky, which installs the pre-commit hooks, and we can run certain checks before we even commit our code. But what I also want to do is enforce conventional commits or a standard where we would have a certain piece of text within our commit so git commit and then we need to have this as a standard of text so that when we import a commit we can't put something in bad like something random like this is bad text or whatever it may be we need to have a certain structure and then that structure can then generate us an automatic changelog file that changelog file can then be released and also have information on there that actually makes sense so what we need to do is install conventional commits or enforce conventional commits so if you go on to conventionalcommits.org and click quick summary essentially this is the specification is a lightweight convention on top of commit messages it provides an easy set of rules for creating an explicit commit history, which makes it easier to write automated tools on top of. So this is where Circle CI will come in. This convention details with Semver, which is a standard semantic versioning in here where we would handle our versioning for our NPM package. So if you want to read up on that, you can do further in that URL over there. But essentially what we are doing is we're defining the type of the commit so so far i've done feet which is feature you can add parentheses and an optional scope and then the description is essentially what we have done in our commit basically so if we scroll down i believe there should be examples but if there isn't then i suppose you can google it and it's here's the examples actually so if we scroll up actually here it says recommends and then you have all of these as the keys so Essentially, you could have a build, a chore, CI, docs, style, refactor, and so on. And then what that would do is that's the key. And then you would describe what you are doing. So now let's apply conventional commits to our application. So first of all, let's go in our, our code over here. And I want to install a couple of things. So npm i and it's dash dash save dash dev. And the first thing I want to install is at commit lint slash cli and also at commit lint slash config dash conventional and also i want to have standard version standard dash version so now let me install all of this and then what we also need to do is at the highest level here we need to create a config file so this is commit lint dot config dot js so let me just quickly rename this because i've done a mistake and in here all you want to do is module dot export is equal to and then essentially this is what we want to extend it as so let me save that this is what we've just installed in our applications so now all i need to do is it should enforce it for us now so there's one more thing we need to do is add the release command and the real release command is essentially standard version like that so now there's one more step to complete which is in our terminal so let me just paste in this which is mpx husky add and then we want to add a commit message file which essentially adds it but again it says here add command is deprecated so let's instead create a new file in husky folder and in this folder what it will be is commit dash msg like so and then let's paste in the relevant information in here so now let's save and i'm actually going to delete this command and in here we want to do mpx dash dash no install commit lint dash dash edit like that and the dollar sign s1 in here like so so let me just wrap this in the string value and now if i save now what should happen is if i save all and now i want to try and commit my changes so git add and then it's git commit and this is going to be this is a bad commit message so let me press enter it will run my pre commit hooks in here then it should check this over here to see if the commit message was successful and as you can see now it says subject may not be empty and type may not be empty 
and it says get help on the conventional commit change log so now we've essentially enforced the rules so all we need to do now is do git status because now we just need to add the relevant commit message so in here now instead of this is a bad commit message what we essentially want to do is declare and describe what we've actually done so what have we done is we can say feature again and i'm sure you can find a better one but feature and in this feature we have added conventional commits and also added standard version and we've also basically enforced the commit message as well in our project over here so let me press enter and now what should happen is this should do our pre-commit checks and then also complete the process which is committing the changes to github which it has done this time and you can see over here there's no errors in what we have done and there's no exits so now all we need to do is git push so now that is all complete we have successfully configured everything here on our project the one last thing to do is to automate everything once we commit our changes to github and we will do that next with circle ci